previously on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Our theme is fairy tales. Give me everything you have. Why don't you show me the dance? Oh my god. I'm getting the vibe that you don't really care. One of you is going home. Allie, today is not your day. And tonight, this week's theme, this country western. Giddy up, sister. Our skill is jumping. The mother of the winning contestant gets to save one person. Your daughter's a nightmare spoiled. No, not. <gasps> I want Gianna to go home. I'm like a few feet away from it. They, like, they think I can't hear. Somebody is still going home tonight. We're down six dancers. Almost all the weak ones have been weeded out. I said almost. I can't believe JoJo is still here. She just gets a free ride because she's little and cute. Howdy, partners. Welcome to Abby's OK Corral. This week's theme, this country western. Giddy up, sister. <laughs> Hey, we're from Nebraska. I have a barn in my backyard. Nebraskans are going to bring it this week for the country. Our skill this week is jumping. I guess I'm an OK jumper, but I'm nervous. I'm stronger in other things. When I say jump, you say how oh, high. Hi. Well, at my studio, I was a jumper, and I feel like I'm going to do very good in the challenge. I'm going to be looking for elevation, the long. That's how much time you stay in the air, your takeoff and your landing. All of those things are essential to jumping, hopping, and leaping. Do you slow pokes realize that you have a one in six chance to win $100,000 and attend the Joffrey Ballet School of New York? The prize is that close. I think finally it like clicked in my brain that, oh my gosh, I could actually do this thing. I can actually win. The reward for this challenge today is very important. The mother of the winning contestant gets to save one person from the bottom three. I think it's a good reward. If your daughter doesn't do so good, you could save her. I'm choreographing the routine this week. Each of you has 15 minutes to learn it. I have cowboy hats backstage. Go grab one. Let's go. I'm going to teach this week's challenge choreography. I'm doing a little hoedown number. I want to see how high they are in the air and how gracefully they land. Yeehaw. All right, we're going to begin. There's an eight count hold. Step right, cross left, and bell like your heels. Look over your left shoulder. You can point, you can smile, you can pose, whatever you're gonna do, give me something. I wanna see this isolation of the shoulder. Abby is teaching us our country dance for the group challenge, and she is cracking all of us up because she's trying to do the little moves, and it's just really funny. And a skip, skip, skip ball change. Skip, skip, skip ball change. Boom. Jump, up, roll, down. One more time, I'm going to go through it, and then we will start the challenge. Music, please. Sounds like this is too fast for me. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
I'm watching McKaylee struggle, trying to figure out the counts, and I'm sitting there biting my lip going, ask what the real count is. But she needs to learn that life lesson for herself. One, two, three, four, jump up! What the f did she just do? Oh my god. Gianna gets help picking up choreography the same way a nine-year-old does, and she's one of the oldest ones here. Last week, Gianna came in second to last. So maybe Cindy better figure some things out. Enough with the rehearsal. The challenge starts now. I will begin eliminating dancers. <laughs> The very first thing I said was, I think there's an eight count hold. When Abby eliminated JoJo, my first reaction was, no Goodbye. Seriously, it's like, what, my like 15th time being outpost, so I'm used to it. Is that where you really want to stand? Is that smart? Is that a smart place to stand? My huge pet peeve is, don't be a moron dancer. Be a smart dancer. Smart dancers see the end of the stage and move when they're hitting it. She was not being that smart dancer. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sitting there, and here goes McKaylee starting the routine too early. My heart drops into my stomach. You can't count to eight? The first thing I said was, there's an eight count hold. And you didn't even realize that you were early? Be smarter. You're cut. Go. McKaylee didn't stop and catch up with the other kids. She just kept going, and she thought she was right. And she wasn't. You started too early. Gianna, you're standing upstage. There's three people downstage in front of you. They're all in second position, and you're in B plus. I said the feet start in second. You're cut. You're out. I don't think Gianna should have got a second chance. Everybody else had their feet the way they should have had them. Gianna should have been paying attention. This time, I agreed with Abby. It's down to three. Travis, Kalani, Trinity. This is a three-way tie. Therefore, we're going to have a jump off. Abby decides to throw a curveball just like that. So one, two, Italian, and one, two, Russian. You will execute these jumps over and over and over until your horse just gives up. The jump off begins now. And a one, and two, up, down, and a one, and two, up, down. Travis has been coming in second in every challenge. There's just so much at stake, and it's time for him. Travis, every boy should be out jumping any girl, any day. Hit the high road. You're cut. Keep going. I'm just like watching my daughter continue, and her legs are a little wobbly. Come on, girl. Oh, my gosh. Come on, energy, think! Keep on going, keep on going, baby! Oh, keep on going! Very nice. Kalani, did you just stop? Kalani paused because she thought she was off. So smart dancers wouldn't have done that. Unfortunately, head on back to the ranch. My legs hurt so bad. I had stamina, but that was really hard. I jumped so much. Trinity, congratulations. You just won your fourth challenge. You proved yourself as a jumper. But once again, you put your mother between a rock and a hard place. Tina, the pressure is on. She gets to save one dancer from elimination. You're going to have another tough decision on your plate. I've done this before, where I had to pick the bottom three. Allie. Elimination. 
McKaylee. Elimination. Haley. Elimination. It's heart wrenching. I think I'm gonna go through the same thing again. It's not gonna be easy at all. Now, if Trinity is in the bottom three, it's gonna be easy. Save your own kid. But if she's not, who do you save? If my kid is in the bottom three, I just hope Tina sees that Gianna's worked really hard. We are not ready to go home. Just one more reminder. I'm the only sheriff in town. This week I have a duet with Trinity. We have stupid ribbons, stupid dance, Nice work. Now, the ribbon. If that ribbon gets caught and tangled, I'm going to have to send you both to the stable. You cannot ruin the number. Tina gets to pick someone out of the bottom three to save, so she knows that she's safe. I will see you two down on the farm. I am JoJo's mom. I will make sure. Tina wants to save JoJo. So is this challenge win as bad as the other one, or is it a little better? Oh my God. I'm gonna have to like bring some skills to the table and uh, try to be her BFF this week. Really, you're gonna save somebody this time. Can I save my own child? Yeah. It would be easy. Yeah, we're not going to the bottom, though, so let's not go there. Okay. This is a great solo for my first solo because it's not what I've been usually doing in this competition. I'm doing a front aerial, which is impressive. So it's a great way to come out and be like, I can jump high and I'm flexible. The jumps, aerial walkover, excellent. I love it. I think Richie and Rochelle are going to be glad to see you do something different. But I'm worried about the lasso ruining the number. I used my callback card on Kalani. I don't have another callback card. If she wants to stay in this competition, Kalani has to totally knock Richie and Rochelle off their seats. I don't want to have you going home. Good. Kick your right leg first, and then your left leg right after. So do it like kick. I was assigned a lyrical solo called Nashville Sweetheart. It is really important that I nail this solo because after my mom made the big scene at elimination. I feel like McKaylee and JoJo got solos. My daughter's a star and she hasn't shown it yet. If the dance goes bad, I'm definitely going home. Come on, believe you are a country star. Kalani kicks her leg a lot. It's up here. Really, Abby? Kalani puts her legs higher than yours, Gianna. What are we gonna do? And she does both sides, and you can't do it like that. Why are you comparing anybody else's kid with my kid and my kid's rehearsal time? Do that again from Coupe. You should be able to kill somebody with the strength in your back leg, and I'm not seeing that. This is your opportunity to come out there and make us go, wow, Cindy was right. Or was Cindy wrong? Boom, shaka boom, shaka boom, shaka boom. The duet between Travis and McKaylee. It's supposed to be a showdown between the two of them. Seven and eight and one, and a two -y and a three, and a four -y and a five. Don't dance like kids. I know that's hard because you guys are kids. Little kid time is over. Like, we're, it's dance time. For real, for real. Because this can go bad so fast. There are so many variables. This is hip hop that is having to tell an outlaw story in a country setting. I think it is difficult. Then there's the height difference. Because you're already taller than Travis, if you can get down to his level, great. Then it'll, it'll make you look like you're more of a pair. In this competition, the, the stress is high, and Sherry tends to get very uptight. McKaylee's a tall, mature dancer, and Travis is not ginormous. But I know that Travis will match, if not exceed, her intensity for sure.
Cindy? Hmm? Why do you feel the need to talk about JoJo all the time? Talk like what? I was so glad she said that. Because when I talk, I don't say anything that I wouldn't say to a mother's face. You don't think this whole thing is like JoJo land here? She lives in JoJo land. I know, that's really I don't really think Abby sick. lives in JoJo land. I don't think it's you really need to sit on a nine-year-old. I think what? that's beyond pathetic, Guess what, Cindy. when the nine-year-old comes in my ear and says, my mom says, you're better not wreck it for us, you're Lily, blowing me. Lily, you're a fat liar. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Like, it's time for your big mouth your horrible attitude to go home. Your daughter's <laughs> nightmare spoiled no, brat. Not. No, she's not. She My said daughter she is tell a nice to shut up. You should that? shut up. Cindy must be so unconfident in her child's talent that she has to go after each mom individually. She started with me, she went on to Jesslyn. You know what? Anybody could have went like this. Cindy, it just doesn't make you look good. You're as tall as you are wide. You guys. Bitch. All that stuff that Cindy's been saying. Well, first of all, you're not a spoiled brat. Just because we can buy nice things for you doesn't mean that you're a spoiled brat. She's just a jealous, overgrown brat. Yes. I'm sick of Cindy's mouth when she talks about my kid. I need JoJo to dance so hard just so Cindy could just shut her mouth for five minutes. I want Marshmallow to go home. Oh, trust me, we all do. I'm gonna totally make Cindy eat her words. Last week, you were the first place dancer, and Gianna was the second to last place dancer. So you need to shut her out this week. All right. They're talking about me right in front of me. Chocho and her mom, they're, Gianna, 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 Gianna. They agree, I'm right. I'm like a few feet away from the, they, like, they think I can't hear. Gianna, they want you to hear, because they want you to, they want to psych you out. They want to get under your skin. Tina's to do whatever she has to do for her and Trinity, but, Jessalyn, she's killing me. Tina, if you save JoJo, I will die. Now that you know where to get some back, that you freaking kick ass on that stage and blow them away, okay? That's how you get them back. They're a rude, obnoxious people. Trinity and JoJo, this is their third dance together. And Jessalyn and I really have a commonality. Like, we're pretty much in agreement. I feel a responsibility to JoJo to help her. I'm not sucking up to you. Okay. Welcome to Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Please welcome Broadway star Rochelle Rapp, Lady Gaga's choreographer Richie Jackson, and the sheriff in this town, Abby Lee Miller. There are six dancers remaining in the fight to win $100,000, that full scholarship to the Joffrey Ballet School of New York, and the title of Ultimate Dancer. This week's theme is country western, and our skill is jumps. I want to see somebody that captures the spirit of America, and we want to see how high they can jump, how long they can hang in the air, do they plie and roll through the ball of the foot when they land. All of these things are important when you're jumping, leaping, or hopping. They won't survive without these skills. Trinity won the challenge again this week. That's not unusual, but her mom has the power to save somebody from the bottom three. And that's basically immunity for Trinity again. How many challenges Wait, has what? she won? It's weird. Trinity is a competitor. She's a challenge dancer. But when she steps out on stage, oh, nothing. Jojo! Jojo, Trinity, five-minute warning until your performance. Okay. okay. Oh, my God. Just sit on the floor and stretch. I'll do your lips and call you a stretch. Jojo has these ribbons to dance with. If they get caught or tangled, it's going to totally ruin the flow of the dance. But she knows that if she goofs up, she can hide it and move on, and judges will love her just as much. Are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? okay? Yeah, I'm yeah, I think we're good. nervous as yeah. usual. Life would be simple if it turns out where I have to save my own daughter. Will it happen that way? I have a feeling it won't. Watch out your feet. Yeah, get up as high as you can, okay? With a jazz duet called American Spirit, please welcome Trinity and JoJo. Woo, go girl! Watch your feet, watch your feet, watch your feet. 
It just looked like, what was that? Honestly, I could have watched Trinity by herself. You're younger. Maybe it's an age thing, but you can't let that be the crush. Thank you, Richie. I've seen you do better, but overall, kind of OK job. Good job. Okay. You, JoJo, were a little bit late, right? Right off the bat, some timing things were off. When you did the switch leap into the center split, the left leg was lower than the right. It was not a switch lift. When we're talking about jumps, we have to finish the jump. So it's a switch leap, and you have to hit that picture. Jojo. Yes? I warned you, little buckaroo. Don't get tangled up in the ribbon. Now, you not only had a malfunction with your ribbon, but you got locked on to Trinity, trying to pull her down with you. What did I tell you in rehearsal about the ribbon getting caught? It, if it gets caught, it can ruin the whole dance. I think cute is over. I think you need to start worrying. Thank you, Abby. It's about time. Cute is over. I think you need to start worrying. At this point in the competition, JoJo cannot make mistakes. I'm afraid that even though she performed really well, that could put her in the bottom. You did your best, right? It's all that matters. <laughs> what? But they don't think I did. That's OK. Tina and I are friends, and JoJo and Trinity have worked really well together. So but Tina's going to save JoJo. I know that. You did awesome, sweetheart. You can't let anyone tell you otherwise, right? This is my first solo of the season, and I need to get Richie and Michelle on my side because I feel like they don't like me as much as Abby likes me. It is jumps week, so I feel like this is a good time to show off my jumps. Our next number is a street jazz solo called Rhinestone Cowgirl. Here's Kalani.
could just pull it out and live that moment. Unbelievable! Really so wonderful! Everything that you're doing, that step brought back some memories for me. It was amazing. Thank you. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Wanna hang back? I got you. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. First of all, this was amazing. Thank you. You just opened up with all of this passion and fire. I'm looking at her like, how is she doing this? You are feeling it. And that <laughs> is what it's about. God bless America. Great job. Abby, it's never complete without your opinion. Not every person in the audience is always a dancer or a fan of dancing. They don't get it. This, everybody gets, am I right? Yes. So I'm still all about the technique. And at the end, you did one of the hardest leaps to do, an aerial walkover. Fabulous. Thank you. In the performance, I was nervous that I wasn't going to nail the lasso part. And I feel like I nailed it. And I got a standing ovation and a finger wave. I hope I'm not in the bottom three, because I feel like I did a really good job. I'm excited. You got fingers? <laughs> Bet you was like this whole entire time. It's really hard dancing with Kaylee because we're both different sizes, and if we're not on the same level or if we're not singing together, one of us will probably be going home. Up now is a hip hop number called Showdown. Please welcome to the stage Travis and McKaylee. did a great job with telling a story. You created the energy, the drama, that something was about to happen. But Kaylee, tonight, for the first time, I saw you come to life and hit it without taking steps where nothing was going on. McKaylee, outstanding job today. Thank you. You came out on stage and you hit it hard. Every isolation, every shoulder, and you told a story with your face. I enjoyed just watching you. Thank you. But Kaylee, there was a lot of performance in you. I don't feel like you were thinking at all, which is what I love. Also, you were hitting things hard. But Travis, I have to say, you were hitting them harder to me. This shoulder move, you were really ticking it. You weren't bad, McKaylee, but I just saw a slight difference. I saw a slight confidence more in Travis than I did in yourself. Travis, first of all, what I want to congratulate you on is that your hip hop has improved tremendously. I loved your performance. Now, you probably will never be able to outjump this one. You know why? Because she's obviously taller than you. I disagree. Travis, take a look at McKaylee. You needed to come out and jump higher than her. I didn't see your jumps any higher than they were at the challenge. If this was a real showdown, McKaylee showed you up. Although it appears that two of the judges are in Travis's corner, we all know in this competition, Abby's the true sheriff in town. And what she says goes. Baby, this is it. This is your chance to shine. My mom told the judges last elimination that I should have a solo. Abby gave me a solo, and now she's expecting a lot from me, and that's enough stress on its own. And Kalani also has a solo this week. Kalani is Abby's favorite, so I definitely really have to bring it. Our final performance of the night, a lyrical solo inspired by country pop stars. Please welcome Gianna to the stage in Nashville, Sweetheart.
was great. It was just kind of like lukewarm. She's very safe. Choosing one child to save, it questions your integrity, it questions your values. How am I going to make this decision? I mean, I thought the performance was solid. The choreography set you up to be a star. I feel like you should have been bigger, and I needed more star power from you. I have to completely disagree. And you know what I love about you, Gianna, is that whenever you're doing a number, you have the ability to be quiet and still. I didn't learn that till I was well into my 30s in the musical Fosse. You were feeling something, and I was feeling something. And that is what the job is. That's what the passion is in what we do and what we want to share with others. We needed to see more from you. You did a beautiful switch split right in front of me. I appreciate that. Thank you. OK. Now, I'm still all about the technique. Look down at those feet. Can you see the cheater shoes? Yeah. Yes. My eyes go there because of the shoe you're wearing, because it doesn't match your skin. So you're saying, look at my feet. Look at my feet. Let's hear it for Gianna. It's hard for a 13-year-old to be beaten down like that. It just kills me. Gianna's given 100%. And if that's not enough for Abby or the other judges, see you later. Just remember, Trinity's mom has the last word. She gets to save somebody that's put in the bottom three. Ooh. Now, to me, Trinity was excellent. Yes. It was just JoJo, I feel like, was struggling. Yeah, but JoJo's period. ribbon got tangled with Trinity's. And we're blaming JoJo all the time. Maybe it was Trinity's fault. Let's move on. What about Gianna? How do we feel about her? I loved her. For me, she's safe. And she right. made the prop effortless. What bothers me is that every one of these kids are dancing in their bare feet now because I said something. And she still and she comes out. And plays it safe. Right. I do not feel like Gianna became a star or a pop star. She was just someone doing a routine with a guitar. I think that Gianna did just as nice of a job as Kalani. Kalani was on that prop doing tricks. She took her hair down. She used a lasso. Yes. She hit an aerial walkover. But Gianna was very dry. I didn't agree with Richie. Not everybody has to like it, but he knew you did a good job. You're convinced that Travis was hitting it hard, because from where I was sitting, I thought that he looked like the old cow hand, and she looked like the owner of the ranch. He's shorter. He's never going to jump higher than her. He's a man. He has to jump higher. If I get in the bottom three, which I don't think I will, I think Tina will hopefully um, take me out, and I don't think I'm going home. Maybe you saw Travis pop more, but McKaylee was giving it. She was hitting it. She had moments. I can watch McKaylee. Is that who was in it? Sorry, still forgot about her. She, out of the rest of the five, was someone that, that did not give me all that I needed. I think she's a good jumper. Now, because there's only six of us, half of us are going to be in the bottom three. They gave me good comments, but I could still be in the bottom. Rochelle, yes. you do have your callback card. Not yet. I would get your guns up. You know, if I do get put in the bottom three, I feel like Tina should save me because I was her duo partner, and me and my mom have been good to Trinity and good to Tina. I think each and every one of you should be very proud of making it this far. But with that all being said, somebody is still going home tonight. Because Trinity won the challenge. Her mother holds the power to save somebody that's put in the bottom three. Trinity, you stepped on that stage like you owned it, and you gave the performance that we needed to see. Please join your mom. Kalani. I'm glad you came out and performed tonight the way you did. Richie and Rochelle, they saw the light. Kalani, please join your mom. Michaeli. Yes. In the duet, 
I liked your performance. But Richie thought Travis was the one that shined in the duet. With that said, tonight, you dodged a bullet. Go join your mother. Three dancers safe, three still on the chopping block. Can the moms of these three dancers please join them on stage? Gianna's in the bottom three with JoJo. JoJo should have left weeks ago. I just hope Tina doesn't save JoJo. Once again, this same mother has this power to throw somebody a rope. Please, Tina, save my daughter. Please discuss it with your daughter one last time. So I'm going to be in the competition. I'm going to try to get there. Everything the best. I'm not going to make it easier for me. So you want me to pick the best dance? I don't know, Mom. It's up to you. But I'm not going to learn anything if I just sweep so like the best people out of the way. Because of the fact that there are mixed reviews, this is a very hard decision to make. Trying to figure out what the judges were looking at, trying to figure out what did Trinity think, to the point where I had to just kind of decide in my gut who actually performed better than the other. All right, Tina, have you made your decision? Which dancer would you like to save? The judges are looking at me. Trinity's like, decide, Mom, decide. And I'm like, mm. One, Mom. We'll get together. I would like to save Gianna. frustrated with Tina. All I know is I was your duet partner and you didn't save me. So sorry if you need something. One of the two of you is going home tonight. Travis, I've been on you about the technical things. I said when we started, you're the guy. You should jump higher than any girl there. Guys jump, that's what they do. Jojo. You definitely have stage presence. But in the challenges, you're always one of the first to go. You can't be a beat behind anymore. You either hear the music or you don't. In the true American spirit, somebody wins and somebody loses. Travis. Today is not your day. JoJo, congratulations. You're safe another week. Let's hear it for both of them, Travis and JoJo. I would just like to say I do truly appreciate this experience. Thank you so much. I just want to say I've grown a lot, so thank you. I hope that you add everything here at Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition to your resume. And I'm sure that you will be seeing a few of these girls again in your future. Now, go right off into the sunset. Let's hear it one more time for Travis. Thank you. Oh my God. Trav, I think they made a mistake, but that's not what it's about. Mm -hmm. For me, I think Travis is the most interesting dancer that's been on the show, and it's truly their loss because he's incredible. I just had so much fun. <laughs> it was fun. Ready? Yeah. JoJo's still here. Oh my God. I wanted her to be going home so bad. Oh my gosh. Maybe next week. time on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. This week, our theme is nightmares. Our challenge is my favorite, technique. You will never make it here if this is how you continue to act. You can take it how you want to take it. I don't give a what anyone thinks about me here. I thought Tiffany was the bully. It is not Tiffany, it was you. Yes. Right. What, girlfriend? What, girlfriend? 
today is not your day.